Thinking of the land as the earth made new. Considering the beauty of the earth and flowers and land animals and many other creatures along with the atmosphere of pureness emanating health, it can surely be a delight to just think of how a new earth without any trace of sin and occupied only by righteous people would be just to inhale fresh, unpolluted air with sounds of life delicately blending into a perfect atmosphere, just as it was conceived by God from before the world began, so shall it be. Psalm 140, 13, Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. The promise of eternal life, after being claimed and recognized for being righteous, receiving the promised gift of immortality and incorruption in the entrance of everlasting life. The clarity of God's word provides, enables mankind to know it is only for the righteous bride of Christ, his body, that immortality and and incorruption is planned. The new earth, which shall be the visible kingdom of Christ, shall forever house those that would have acknowledged their need and by grace accept the gift of God's Son's provided gift. Psalm 115.16 The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's, but the earth hath he given to the children of men. Isaiah 60.21 Thy people also shall be all righteous, They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. The outstanding element of the kingdom of heaven that is to be on earth as the inheritance of Christ Jesus is the joint heirs with Christ, righteous occupants, along with being blessed by God, the Father's presence. The new earth shall be a place that allows time to be spent with the Lord Christ Jesus and the Father to enjoy the true expressions of an atmosphere constructed by love. Isaiah 61 10 I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with a robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. Isaiah 61, 11, For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all nations.